We begin tonight with a developing story out of Niagara Falls, where an investigation is underway after an officer involved shooting turned deadly. Body cam footage showing the moments when police arrived and met a 53 year old man holding a gun. Now Niagara Falls police are looking for more witnesses to help piece together just what happened. Good evening, everybody. I'm Michael Wooten and I'm Mary Alice Demler. Scott is off tonight. Two on your sides. Danielle Church has been following this story all day and she's in the studio to walk us through what happened in the falls. Danielle. Mary Alice, uh, Michael, a 53 year old man from Niagara Falls has died from the shooting and both of the officers are on paid leave per code protocol. But the body cam video from Niagara Falls police is giving us a better idea of what happened last night and we do want to warn everyone it is graphic. In this body cam video from Niagara Falls police, one male and one female officer responded to the call in separate cars. When they both get there, they encounter this woman. Right now, Please say she knows the man she's pointing to. Then officers see him with a 22 caliber revolver in his right hand. Show me your hands, hands, hands. 10-6-5, show me your hands, hands. Put the gun down, please. Put the gun down. 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 Shots fired. Niagara Falls Police Superintendent John Faso says the suspect raised his arms with the gun and fired, just missing the female officer, instead hitting her patrol car. That's when officers fired back, hitting the man. Faso says officers then immediately started giving the 53 year old man CPR. We are not showing that video because it's too graphic. The man was taken to Niagara Falls Memorial Medical Center, but later died. Per protocol, both officers are now on paid leave. They did exactly what they were trained to do. Faced with a horrible, horrible situation. Uh, you're talking about one officer with uh, about a year and 11 months on the job, another officer with just over two years on the job. Um, they couldn't have handled that faced with what they were faced better. The Niagara Falls Police Department is investigating and found three of six rounds in the man's gun. Police are also looking for witnesses. The state attorney general's office is also investigating the case and I'm told has spoken to the man's family. A neighbor we spoke with says violent crime in the area seems to be the norm these days, despite the police station being so close. This lets you know how bold and emboldened they are that you're a block away from the police station and you're still willing to shoot off a gun in community area. And despite being convicted of illegal gun possession and robbery downstate in the past, I'm also told the man who died didn't have an extensive criminal history here in western New York. He was the victim of both an assault and larceny and was involved in one domestic dispute. Police say they will re release his name in the coming days. On your side, Danielle Church, Channel 2 News.